everybody and welcome back to the Panning Punk Project Pan update number three. Um, we've made some good progress. I briefly spoke about this in my empties video, which was the last video that I posted, but today we're going to delve deeper into it because we have used up a couple of products. We've made progress on the other products, so here we are delving in. Um, if you are not familiar with this Project Pan, it is a 12-month project pan going from January 1st of this year to December 31st of this year. I update in the first seven days of each month on YouTube and then I do a little like Instagram poll sometimes. Creator of this is Alicia Nettles and this is a Fantastic Ladies collab project pan, yes. Um, basically you pick four to six prompts. It is a rolling project. After completing one prompt you pick another. We are picking out two new products today and we finished off some more prompts. I think with these products that I finished off, we finished off a total of six prompts, but let's jump into it. Let's figure it out. Everything is linked down below, including all the prompts. All the prompts are based on old punk songs. It's so much fun. It's a great fun project pan. Okay, we're going to start with prompt number one. Um, this is the Holiday Prompt by Green Day, the song Holiday by Green Day. It's a holiday themed product. I picked the ColourPop uh, Super Shock Cheek in Goody Two Shoe. This was from the 2020 uh, Chinese New Year collection. I did end up finishing this off, finally. Um, it got a little gross at the end there, but these are so nice. I love the formula of these because they're like a cream to powder, but they last all day. I will say when you start getting to the end, they do. I've used up several of these in my time here, um, and they do start to get a little gross, a little bit. Uh, but that's okay, because we, we power through. This was a beautiful gold highlight. I'll link my last Panning Punk video up here uh, if you're curious as to what it looked like before it was all gone. But I managed to really power through the rest of it. I just wore a lot of gold highlight. I love these. I have so many of these still in my collection, just not this one. And I'm really happy that this one's gone because this is from 2020. It's cream to powder. It's getting on the old side there. So probably a good thing that that's going to go. But that means that we have finished off the holiday project, the holiday prompt. Why can't I talk today? Um, so we will be rolling in another product at the end. Um, the next prompt that we have not finished is the Misfits Halloween. It's a horror slash scary movie inspired product or a Halloween inspired product. I don't have very many of those, so I ended up going with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Glitter in Carnival. It's an orange glitter. I actually have really been enjoying this. Like I think this is absolutely gorgeous and I'm keeping track of how often I use it. My goal was to use it 10 times. I've used it four thus far. So this will be going into the next round. I can't roll it out yet. It is a really pretty glitter, but I will say I have used this four times in this project alone and it looks like it hasn't been touched. And I like dump it into the lid to get the glitter out and I was like, I'm gonna roll through this because it's so much product that's coming out and you can't put it back. And then I was like, oh, that's actually not a lot. So um, four uses, I have six to go. Since I'm doing my own eyeshadow thing at the moment, I'm hoping to incorporate it. I almost incorporated it into this look actually. And the last one I was like, eh, no. But hopefully we'll have some more progress soon. It's such a pretty glitter though. It really is. I have five prompts that I've picked, by the way. I have five going on at any given time. It's four to six. I pick five in case you're curious. The next prompt is Nirvana Heart Shaped Box, a product that relates to your zodiac sign. I am a Scorpio. This is the Kaleidos Cloud Lab Lip Clay in Trophy. Note from the Trophy Collection. Oh my god. The shade is Scorpion Fruit. I am losing it today. It's a beautiful, very, very dark lippy. Um, so I've used it twice now. My only issue with this is it's semi-patchy. Like, I love the formula of these, but because it's in such a dark shade, it is kind of patchy. You have to touch it up a lot. Um, so again, I'm keeping track of how often I'm using this because my goal is to use this 10 times. I have used it twice thus far. Here's my question. Um, if I put this on, that's one use. If I have to reapply throughout the day, does that count as another use? Or is it 10 separate uh, days? Or is it 10 days or is it 10 applications? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think because I'm curious. But I've used this twice thus far. I need to use it eight more times. It's rough, man, because it is a very dark lip color, which I absolutely love. But I have to be careful with what eye looks I pair it with. Otherwise, I look overdone. Like, I don't already look overdone. Um, but it is a nice... Like, I love this shade, and I love the formula of these, so that is a nice aspect of that. The next prompt is Weezer Island in the Sun, a product loved by multiple generations. For this one, I brought in my Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray 
in bridal you guys know oh, I love this this is the same company that makes the Urban Decay all-nighter setting sprays and so they're basically the same thing right but the bridal one will lock your shit down for like days like this is my favorite setting spray I did end up finishing this off it's completely empty I'm honestly kind of sad about that because this is my favorite and these are harder to come across than like the Urban Decay ones that you can get at Ulta because this is more of like the like the makeup artist brand version but I love these I strongly strongly recommend them if you are a fan of the Urban Decay one give this one a try the bridal formula specifically that's the best one I think in my personal opinion that is the best one that they have so good um, but this was the product loved by multiple generations which means that prompt oh actually I need to cross that off now that prompt is done and that is a second item that we will be bringing in at the end of this video but oh my god I freaking love this this is such a good setting spray the best and then the last prompt that we have for this previous round was Taking Back Sunday Make Damn Sure. It's a product you are ready to be done with or almost done with. If you guys have been watching me, you know that I've got some setting powders, um, pressed powders that are currently, they I don't have room for because I had to readjust my drawer. Um, so I pulled some of those out and I just grabbed one of those to throw into this project. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte Press Powder Oil Control and Classic Ivory. This is so old and like the packaging has cracked a little bit and so it's not secure anymore. This is the product that I chose for this prompt. There was a pan in it already when I started this. It just was not this large so the pan is increasing in size and I am using this almost every day. Every great once in a while I'll bring in something else but this is just kind of like my go-to powder right now. I like this one and it's a nice light shade. It's a good shade match for me so I'm not having any difficulties in that realm of it. And I do like these powders. I actually really do. The CoverGirl press powders are one of my favorite press powders from the drugstore options and I have so many of these that I've collected over the years so it's just kind of time for this one to move out. But this will be going into the next round obviously because my goal is to finish this off um, so I'm, I have not done that yet. So that'll be going into the next round. Okay, so now I have to bring in two new products, two new prompts. So the first prompt is Good Charlotte, I Don't Want to Be in Love, a product you can use for multiple things in multiple ways. I had to think about this because most multi-use products I don't use in multiple ways. So I really had to think about what I wanted, but I, and I was using this pretty frequently as it was, and I was like, well, I can just put this in my thing. But I feel like it's time for me to use this up a little bit because I don't normally reach for potted concealers to conceal um, so it's not I'm not getting a lot of use out of it that way even though like you can use it that way I do sometimes use it for color correction which is where the multi-use comes in because I love using potted concealers for cut creases because it's so easy and you can use whatever brush you want and it's just so simple so I use this for color correcting if I need to and then for cut creases multi-use this is the Too Faced um, matte instant coverage concealer it's the peach one in the shade petal I've used up some of it so far there's like a good little dip in there but there's a lot of product in here my whole thing is what is my goal usage on this what's my goal here because honestly part of me wants to use it up but part of me also realizes what a freaking feat because I use so little of it and I don't use it every day so I'm really debating this here but I do like this concealer it is really nice if you're looking for like a nice peach corrector because obviously the Becca one I don't I can't remember if they switched that over to the, like the Smashbox side and someone just told me to I don't know but even if they do it's not as easy to get anymore this is my replacement for it and it's pretty good it is kind of thick which is why I like it for cut creases because I feel like it works really well for that um, but yeah so what what is my usage here I want to use this 30 times I feel like that's fair I want to use it 30 times that's my usage okay and then the last prompt is my chemical romance welcome to the black parade a black eyeshadow <laughs> I have a large eyeshadow collection. I have a lot of black eyeshadows. Um, have I ever hit pan on any of them? I don't think so. But I, I was thinking about this and I was like, well, I want an eyeshadow palette that I haven't hit pan in yet, obviously. Like if, I'm, if my goal is just to pick a, a black eyeshadow, I want one that I have not hit pan in yet because I feel like that just makes the most sense. And I have this palette, which I'm still kind of torn on if I like it or not. It is all matte and I don't normally go for all mattes, but it's all like just kind of basic shades that I could use in a variety of different ways, especially if I want to do like a cream shadow. This is kind of my go-to for if I want to do a cream shadow look, but this is the Tarte, Tarte, Tarte Pro Amazonian Clay Palette. 
This is what the inside of it looks like. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. But the shade Punk, which is just so damn appropriate, and I'm just putting those pieces together right now, right here, is a nice black shade. Um, so my goal is to hit pan in this. Okay. Um, I'm not expecting to like finish it off completely because that would be absurd. And I'll probably end up using it as like a smudge liner. So I always, this is what I don't like about the project painting community is um, people get a lot of slack for like the drill holes. But if you use something as like smudging under your eyes or as like a liner or whatever, you're going to have a drill hole. That's just of the type of brush that you're using so because of how i'm i'm going to preface you guys right now because of how i plan to use this it's probably going to have a drill hole in it and i'm still going to count that because that's still pan does that make sense i always get confused when people complain about that because i'm like but if they're using it in that way and that's how a lot of people use like bright colorful eyeshadows then having a drill pan and it makes complete sense to me anyways and i know some people agree with me because i've seen those opinions online as well um but just don't come for me <laughs> when I have a drill hole in it because I'm going to be using like a liner slash smudgy like pointed tip brush and that is what happens when you use those. But my goal is to hit pan in that. I wonder how long it'll take me. I wonder how hard pressed those are because I have not used that eyeshadow palette very much. So that'll be, this will be an interesting experiment to see how, how long this takes. But I'm excited. So that is the new products and updates for my Panning Punk Project Pan. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Let me know down below all your thoughts and opinions and your feels. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. I'll be back next month with an update. But if you do like what you see here, you can hit that bigger subscribe button below me because I do post every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday various beauty themed videos. Lots of Get Ready With Me's coming up. Lots of subscription boxes coming up because that is my main jam. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great one.